Hey everyone, Tuesday, March 28th, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. Um, I'm doing a good job of managing my other commitments right now, so I'm, I'm getting more time on the music front, which is really, really good. I'm excited about that, and uh, today I'm going to use it to do some online classwork. I'm going to do some drum work, work on some four-way coordination, and also work on a cover tune, and then move forward on my new record that I'm working on, uh, doing some horn library research, possibly selecting a library today, and starting to work on the parts, uh, horn parts for this new track that I'm excited about. So I'll try to explain as much as I can as we go. Let's do this. Yeah, nothing major to report from that session, uh, just trying to keep things tight, and since I started the session a little late, I just kind of cut my losses on the learning session, but wrapping up the MIDI lesson, I'm excited for the next video, which is all about how MIDI data actually works, which is going to be super cool. I didn't realize we were going to go that deep. And then uh, I was just doing a little more Queens of the Stone Age research, reading about sort of the, the ups and downs of that, that band, sort of getting inside their heads, and then little side note with them Crooked Vultures, which was Dave Grohl, John Paul Jones, and Josh Holm. And um, yeah, I, I think I tried to get into that record back in the day, and I'm not sure that I ever did, or maybe I just didn't actually hear it, but it actually sounds pretty good, so I'm going to take some time and, and listen to that in the coming weeks. But uh, for now, let's get into some drum work. All right, best drum session I've had in a long time, and really the key is just making sure that I stick to my timing plan for the session, and it's, it's interesting how difficult that can be sometimes, but I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for myself, learning from my mistakes, and, um, and succeeding. So, um, yeah, I went, went through a quick warm-up, as I usually do, just uh, warming up my feet, warming up my hands, warming up some coordination exercises, then hit the four-way coordination book, feeling pretty good about line 9 after my session last week, which you may have seen. So I'm moving on to line 10. I got um, halfway through. And uh, it's feeling good. I mean, it's, it's definitely, I'm definitely playing the exercises very slow. But throughout the exercises, my body gets used to it. I'm, I'm developing some speed, and I think that's what it's all about. And I'm just focusing on staying relaxed, being controlled, getting the sound I want out of the exercise and out of each note, and getting the groove to really feel right. Um, so that, that's what I want. I want it to be as musical as possible. Then I moved on to working on my uh, latest cover that I'm doing, just trying to inject some good creativity into my drum practice where I'm not just improvising on the kit, but I'm actually sitting down and writing out parts and taking these ideas that I have in my head and, and uh, systematically teach myself to play them, basically. So just doing my best to take the ideas and inspiration I have in my head and, and get it out into reality or in, into, the, into the physical existence. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's been a lot of fun. It's um, it's a little painstaking because I'm really trying to do it right. I'm trying to get the ideas right. I'm trying to get the phrasing right. And writing out the parts, you know, sometimes takes some time. But I'm doing well with it actually. I'm just chipping away, measure, you know, one measure at a time. And even if the song takes me a year to write, it's going to be totally worth it. Because at this point, you know, my my big thing right now is just producing quality content. Like if I put something out, I want it to be just super fresh and and awesome and badass. And if it's not, then I'm just not going to put it out. And if something's not that fresh, then I'm just going to work on it till it is. And if I can't save it, then I'll just I'll kill it off. But I just really want to I just really want to have my brand, whatever I choose to call it, I want my brand to be associated with really high quality stuff and it's like if you buy something from that or you watch one of those videos or you listen to one of those albums, you know it's going to be super well made. Like whether you resonate with it artistically or not, it's whatever, but you listen to that and you respect it one way or the other. That's that's really big for me right now. So, um I'm enjoying the process. I'm going to take a little break and then get it on the production front. Alright guys, camera's about to die. Awesome session today. Got a ton of work done. Made a decision on the sample library and now I'm just waiting on the manufacturing company to relaunch their website which has been down for a really long time. So um, if I if I can't wait it out any longer then I'll, um, I'll move forward and just buy it from a third party retailer at full price which would be a bummer because there have been some sales where I could save some money but um, I do want to move forward. What I'm thinking of doing right now, I, I just went back to the, um, the camera might die here in a second, but I just went back to my scratch recording of the song and I might do some guitar parts or some new bass parts and then I'll work the horns in around that. So we'll see how that goes. I'll just find a way to move forward tomorrow. I'll let you guys know what I'm doing. Hope you're out there grinding towards your goals, having an awesome day, enjoying the process, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. <laughs>